Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So today I am coming to you with a really great video. I have scoured far and wide and I have narrowed down a list of top five moisturizers for oily, acne prone skin. All five of these products are K-beauty products, so Korean skincare. And I have tried so many moisturizers in my time on YouTube. And this is like a list of the top five that I think that are the creme de la creme of moisturizers. In terms of criteria for this list, each of the items on my top five list contains ingredients that are suitable for people with oily skin, and each of these products will not cause acne breakouts. At least they did not cause breakouts on my skin, and I am very, very, very acne prone. But before we get started on this list, make sure you give me a thumbs up on this video. It shows me that um, you guys actually appreciate content like this, so um, give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, um, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell because I do, I try to at least upload a couple times a month and then I do videos on K Beauty and I don't want you guys to miss out on my latest videos. So subscribe, like, leave a comment, all of that good stuff. Okay, so now let's get to our top five list. Go, go. Okay, so at number five is this guy right here. I featured this guy in my video, um, my morning skincare video before, and it is the Innisfree Green Tea Balancing Lotion EX. This moisturizer was probably, it was a lifesaver. I was looking for a moisturizer that wouldn't break me out when I was in Korea. And I went with this one and I was really impressed with how it hydrated my skin during the winter months. It's formulated with green tea extracts from Jeju Island. So green tea is really great for people with oily, acne-prone skin. It's a really lightweight texture, so it's not too heavy. And it applies and soaks into the skin very, very well. Also, this product is really great for people that are new to K-Beauty or if you're a student because it's very budget friendly and it's pretty widely available and there's a lot of great promotions on it and it's a good all-rounder. When using this product, I found my skin to be hydrated uh, and not very greasy afterwards and it does a really great job of kind of giving your skin that little boost of moisture that it really needs and then in turn making it less oily. In terms of ingredients, while this product never broke me out, out of the five um, moisturizers on this list, this probably has the least clean ingredients out of the five. I think it is the only moisturizer on this list that does contain PEG. And it is also the only product that contains fragrance. I actually really like the fragrance. It's a very clean, soap-like smell. I really like it, but fragrance is not the best for uh, skin, especially when it's sensitive. Also, another negative with this product is, is the packaging, fortunately. It comes in like a dispense bottle like this, so it's hard to control the amount of product that you use. So I tend to either use too much um, and pour out and end up wasting a lot, which is unfortunate. In terms of my rankings, I gave this a moisture level of four out of five. It does a really great job of moisturizing the skin. In terms of ingredients, unfortunately, it got a 2.5 out of five for me. While the ingredients won't necessarily break you out, it's still the least clean out of um, the ingredients of the moisturizers that I'm featuring. The finish, I gave it a three out of five um, because it does soak in quite well, but out of the five moisturizers, I do find that the finish is the most shiny, if that makes sense. But in terms of price and value, I would give it a four out of five. It's really nicely priced and you get a really nice amount of product for the price point. Great, so at number four is another moisturizer from Innisfree. It is from their Bija Sika line. And this product is Innisfree's Bija Sika Gel. This is a lightweight gel-like product that contains Bija seed oil as well as Centella Asiatica. Actually, Innisfree markets the key ingredient in this as Centella Asiatica 4X, which means it contains four different kinds of um, Centella Asiatica including madagascoside, madogascoside, acid, asiatoside, and asiatic acid. For those that don't know, Centella Asiatica is an incredible ingredient in K-Beauty to help calm the skin and basically soothe it, especially when it's irritated. So it's a really great option or ingredient to look out for when you have acne-prone skin. Bija seed oil is also an ingredient that has antimacterial properties in it, so it is great to kind of help control breakouts. 
This product is actually marketed as a spot treatment, but I actually find it to be very good as a moisturizer. The texture is perfect for people with oily skin. It soaks in really, really well, and its finish is beautiful. The product is also paraben-free, sulfate-free, EU allergen-free, and fungal acne safe. There's no silicones in it, it's cruelty-free, and there's no alcohol. However, this product does contain a small amount of essential oils, so if you are sensitive to essential oils and have sensitive skin, I would steer clear. The reason why I prefer this Sika gel over the Sika Balm, which is marketed as a moisturizer, is the fact that the Sika Balm doesn't have as good ingredients as the Sika gel. I think the Sika Balm contains something called satyral alcohol and palmitic acid, which both have a comedogenic rating of 2, whereas this one doesn't have those things, so it's a much better option, I think, for people who are acne prone because you don't want to risk that, right? While the product is designed to be used before a moisturizer as a spot treatment, I do feel like its ingredients and its finish is suitable for people with oily skin and it does a great job of moisturizing without leaving your skin feeling greasy. The only drawback with this product is the size of it in my opinion. It's obviously quite small in comparison to um, the other products and you aren't getting as much value as you could compared to some of the other products. In terms of my final ranking for this product, I would give the moisture level a 3 out of 5. I would give the ingredients a solid 4 out of 5. The ingredient list is incredibly clean, minus the essential oil, which could cause a problem if you are sensitive to that. The finish is beautiful, I would give it a solid 4 out of 5. And unfortunately the price and value is going to be at a 3 out of 5 for me just because it is uh, smaller than... You get a small amount of product for the amount of money you spend. I really wish that the like, industry, if you're watching this, I feel like you guys should make a jumbo size with this because I would definitely buy it. Cool, and now we are on to number three. The number three on this list is an item I have featured on my channel before. It is a Holica Holica Less On Skin Emulsion. For those that don't know, emulsions are pretty much moisturizers. It's a lightweight moisturizer, which is perfect for people with oily skin. Claim to fame is the fact that it contains only EWG certified ingredients. Also, out of all the moisturizers on this list, this has the least amount of ingredients. It only has 12 things in this moisturizer. So if you're looking for a moisturizer that has minimal ingredients and all the ingredients are clean, this is going to be the one for you. This product's texture is also probably one of the most unique. This is definitely suitable for people with oily or combination skin, but if you do have combination skin, it might not be moisturizing enough for winter months. This is also a really, really great product if you wanted to layer your skincare routine, so basically apply this first before a heavier moisturizer in the winter. However, I do find that this product is the finish of it. It's a little bit stickier than um, some of the other ones. In terms of rankings, I would give the moisture level of this product a solid 4 out of 5. I would give the ingredients a 4.5 out of 5. Finish, I would give it a 3 out of 5. Price and value is the only drawback of this product and I gave it a 3 out of 5 because it is quite expensive. But you do get a lot of product. I believe this is the largest product out of all the items on my list. You do get the most amount of product, but it is hard to find and it is a little bit more expensive than some of the other items on this list. Great, so now we are at number two on this top five list. And at number two, it is the Aloe Soothing Gel but from Isn't Tree. And this is a fresh type, suitable for oily skin. This is a product that I featured recently on my channel and I love it. It's one of my favorite morning moisturizers that I use on a daily basis. This is actually my second bottle of this product. And this is a product that is more than meets the eye. At first glance, you might think it's just a normal aloe gel, but it actually contains a lot of other ingredients in it that makes it a really great um, moisturizer. 50% of this product is aloe, which is great for cooling down the skin, especially if you have irritations from breakouts or if you have a sunburn. So aloe is great at lowering the temperature of your skin. This product also contains licorice root extract, centella asiatica, and panthenol. And the panthenol is way up at the front, which is really impressive, which makes it a really great moisturizer to help the skin barrier. In terms of value, this is a great thing for your buck. You get so much product for such a low price. And considering how clean and great the ingredient list is, this is a total steal. In terms of moisture level, I think it's pretty solid and it's really great for people with oily skin because it doesn't, uh, it's not too much. It just soaks, like, soaks into the skin and just provides just enough moisture without leaving your skin feeling greasy. 
However, it does feel a little bit sticky. And the thing is, when you have cleaner ingredients, the finish of the product is where you kind of get a compromise. I don't mind that. I would much prefer a product that has clean ingredients than having a nice finish. Also, if you go through the ingredient list of this product, it's just so impressive. Nothing is comedogenic. Nothing has a chance of irritating your skin. Everything just checks off. A lot of the products, I think it's all EWG certified as well. In terms of my ranking for this product, in terms of moisture level, I gave it a 3.5 out of 5. The ingredients, I gave it a 5 out of 5. The finish, I gave it a 4 out of 5. And the price and value, I gave it a 5 out of 5. And you can't beat the value of this product. The amount of product you get, it just blows my mind. Now we are finally at the top moisturizer on this list. And the number one moisturizer for oily skin that I picked is Dr. G Red Blemish Clear Soothing Cream. I'm almost out of this product, which I'm freaking out about. And I've been using this product every night for the past like two months. This is by far the thickest cream out of um, all the items on this list, but it soaks into the skin so beautifully and it gives a really nice plumping effect without leaving it greasy. I've used other moisturizers where your skin feels really soft and plump, but I found in the morning, your skin gets really greasy. Whereas this one, um, I've used it on, in the nighttime and in the morning, my skin is still matte and it feels plump and soft. This is also a huge award winner in terms of the moisturizers on this list. I think it's a glow pick winner for something or another. And then it's just won countless awards for being a great moisturizer for people with acne and oily skin. This product is also formulated with Cica, a Cica complex, Madagascoside, Madagascoside acid, Asiaticide, Asiatic acid, and Centella Asiatica extract. The product is paraben free, sulfate free, EU allergen free, fungal acne safe, no silicone, cruelty free, alcohol free, and no fragrance. Also, what's really impressive about this baby is that it contains absolutely no ingredients that are bad for people with even sensitive skin. In terms of moisture levels, this is probably the most moisturizing product out of all the items on the list. The finish is beautiful and you really notice your skin getting plump after using this. In terms of value though, it is by far the most expensive product on this list. So it does, it is a bit more of an investment and you don't get the most amount of product. I'm freaking out already that I've used up a jar. But this moisturizer, in all honesty, it's suitable for anybody with oily skin regardless of their age. Also with this product, I've noticed my skin be noticeably less oily after using it after a couple of weeks. And then in terms of my final like ranking or like my uh, ratings for each of the categories on this product, I gave the moisture level a 5 out of 5. I gave the ingredients a 5 out of 5. I gave the finish a 5 out of 5. And the price and value was at 3 out of 5. So this one still comes out on top even though it is the most expensive. All right, so that was my top five list. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you check out these moisturizers if you're looking for a moisturizer that's not gonna cause you to break out and that's suitable for your skin. Definitely check these options out. They're really great. And honestly, the ingredients on any of these beat out so many moisturizers on the market. I'll leave links on where you can find these products below in the description box. Please give me a thumbs up on this video if you haven't done so already and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. I will catch you guys in my next video.